All right, this video is going to be uh, showing a rope to rope transfer. So on rope to rope transfer, we talk about having two rope sets. So right now I'm on rope set one and I have rope set two with me. So rope to rope is when we're going to be going from one side to another horizontally movement. Um, we use this often on uh, bridge inspections, especially when we're going underneath the bridge deck and we have no anchors, we can't drop through anything in the middle. So we'll drop on both sides of it, be able to grab the ropes um, and then we can slide across underneath. Um, there's two ways that you can bring your ropes with you. You can either A, you can just tie them onto your side and bring them with, or I could take both ropes, I could tie the ends of them together um, with fisherman knots, and then I'd have one big continuous loop I could pull the ropes, pull the ropes over that way as well, okay? Um, so, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ascend up on rope set one. I already ascended up on rope set one, and I transferred over into descent. So, we're going up on rope set one, I'm transferring over into descent mode, and then I'm good to go, then I'm good to, to worry about rope set two. So once I'm in descent, I'm gonna take my, my rope from rope set two and I'm gonna attach uh, my belay device and another, and my ascenders on there. So we're gonna toss our Kong back up on. The next thing we do is our main line. So our main line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our chest ascender um, I like to kind of sit back and just take inventory of where everything's at so I'm not crossing any ropes up. You can open up your chest ascender, put the rope in. And then what we like to do is we like to take it, you can detach it from the side of your harness. I'm going to take the ropes and I'm going to put them through to the other side so they feed through better. Okay? The other thing, especially for first time people, if you can, is try to work from right to left. If I work right to left, it just feeds through your chest ascender. It's a little bit easier for you, okay? All right, so now I'm still in ropes. I'm still in, in the plane of rope set one. So I only need to be on two points of contact. As soon as I start going over and traversing over into rope set two, that's when I need to be on four points of contact throughout the entire time, okay? We see often people go over into the middle and for some reason they have a lapse, lapse of judgment and forget something and end up taking off a backup device. Um, and it's a failure. So you need to have two points of um, two points of connection throughout the entire class. But in the middle of those those, those transfers like that, we need to have four points because we're in two different planes. Okay. All right. So once I'm good to go, I'm going to start trying to move over. And what I want to do is I want to take my handle a sender as well, put my handle a sender on. Now I'm going to take the bottom side of my rope, come out the bottom of my crawl, and I'm going to pull myself over in one motion. Pull myself over. As I do that, I'm minding my backup device, putting my backup device, pulling myself over, minding my backup device. I'm gonna do one more, and I should be in a good spot to go over. Okay. So right here. So at this point, I'm in a pretty good spot to move to move over. All the way going across to making my way across the rope set too. Um, one thing I want to be mindful of when I'm going across is my interior angles. You can see here, the interior angle is going up to my anchors. I want to try to maintain 90 degrees or less is ideal, okay? Once I start getting up around 120, 120 of an angle is hard. It's really hard to tell what it is, but 120 is 100% of the load on each anchor. 90 degrees is around 70 to 71%, so we're okay with that. So again, 90 degrees, a good way of looking at it, real quick and easy again, interior of your hand. Um, the interior angle, trying to maintain 90 or less, all right? Another point to talk about is um, if we were actually doing work, if you're doing work some, somewhere in the middle here, uh, we would want you to put on two descent devices. So it could be an ID, could be two IDs, could be an ID and a clutch, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, two descent devices, which allows me to move back and forth easily. It also allows uh, a little bit easier for, for the rescue if you had to be rescued as well, okay? So at this point, I pull myself over, I'm in a good spot, I'm gonna forget about rope set two, and I'm gonna send over on rope set one, okay? As I descend over, I wanna get all the way over into rope set two's plane. Once I'm underneath it, you're gonna to have to feed through on your ID or clutch the rope on the bottom because there's not enough tension on it, okay? Feed through, once it's completely slack, I'm completely in line. Now I can take these off. As I take these off, I can either choose to hold on to them if I'm gonna go back the other way, 
Or if I'm not going to go back the other way, if this is my where I'm going to end up at, I can take these off and I can release them. Either way is appropriate, just depends on what the evaluator asks you to do. At this point, I'm not going back there, I can release these. Next thing I'm going to do, at this point, I'm in line up here. All I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to change over the descent and then come back down to the front. 